How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video where today we are doing a tier list of every Naruto arc. Now, we just did a One Piece arc tier list. We're now doing a Naruto one. Are we gonna find out which one's better, Naruto or One Piece? Probably not. So, today, come join me and we're gonna go through this whole arc situation, see which one's better, which one's worse. Uh, unfortunately, Borto is in this and unfortunately I have watched a good section of Borto. Uh, I'm not proud of it. If you guys do enjoy this, you know what to do. Let's get started. Starting off with the land of the waves, Naruto 1 through 19. I want to say this is A tier. I, it's in that good, a uh, great area. Again, S is like the best of the best. We saw me like be very picky with the One Piece one. I'm going to put land and waves in A just because the development of kind of naruto a little bit and like same with sasuke with haku and zabuza and then we also kind of get a little bit more of kakashi there with kind of how he works within like a team aspect when we were doing um when they first got kakashi as a sensei there of course soccer doesn't do shit like always so we're gonna put that in a tier truly exams true ooh. truly exams as a whole was good it gave everyone like that individual like moment to shine part of me wants to put training exams in s tier because what really stands out to me is like is konoha crush technically within with the sasuke versus gara i'm gonna look that up but like real fast like i think rock lee and gara's whole fight very impactful especially showing how like not hard work doesn't always give you everything there uh it kind of puts a reality check with some things they introduce orochimaru there they kind of bring in like the whole naruto and like neji situation unfortunately we did get the fight between ino and sakura but i feel like that's the only like one that was bad i'm gonna look up real fast if uh the sasuke versus gara is technically part of kona hot crush or not is it 67 okay so it's literally the last episode of uh the Trini exam so i'm gonna put this in s here i feel like that is just a reasonable spot there especially with the legendary moment with rock lee and then especially if in the dub i don't really watch sub but i feel like naruto you can go dub or sub in the dub gara's scream was pretty good and we got sasuke's like shidori everything like that i think that's a respectable s tier there i think it's probably one of the best arcs within og naruto number two is konoha crush that is gonna go in a tier as well I personally think, ooh, do I put that over Land of Waves? It's a very good art. It's definitely an A tier, but I'm trying to figure out if I put that over Land of Waves. Because the thing is, what I liked about Konoha Crush, it kind of brought everyone a little bit into the factory there. And then especially with kind of Naruto's development with using the summoning jutsu, and then he ends up using the Ninetale Fox out of all things, and then kind of builds up for him and Gar's relationship. Because with Land of Waves, it really, they just built up the relationship with Haku and Zapuza and then just killed them off. And it does set a rivalry, rivalry with uh, Sasuke and Naruto a little bit more. I'm going to put um, Konoha Crush above Land of Waves. I think that's good. Search for Tsunade. That is going to be probably the only B tier fucking uh, arc we have within OG Naruto. That one was just very boring. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't as exciting compared to what we got beforehand. Literally, look at what we have like up here. It wasn't as great. I feel like it might actually be in C tier as well. I feel like putting it in B tier is actually a little high in my opinion. I, uh, I'm gonna put this in C tier actually. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna put that in C tier. I don't know how I feel about putting that in B tier. I feel like that one a lot of people are gonna argue about. Sasuke's Retriever Art, uh, Recovery Mission. That's an S tier. It's just, is it better than Shooting Exams? I, I want it, ooh, but there's so much, I gosh this is always hard i always do this i always feel like i say ooh ah and all that so much i want to put this underneath truny exams it's a very good arc it's a very good arc don't get me wrong but i feel like truny exams is just better a little bit there truny exams and sasuke recovery mission can be both swapped off i think i like the pacing of truny exams more than sasuke recovery i noticed og naruto actually has better pacing than uh naruto shippuden if i think about it now we move on to naruto shippuden Again, this is another canon list like the One Piece one. Kazakage Rescue Mission. I thought that was good, but partially because I do like training arcs. The fact that we got to see Kakashi versus Sakura and Naruto a little bit there, and Sakura actually fucking does some shit, although she does get help. I, I wanna I wanna put that in B tier. Do I wanna put that in B tier? The thing is it's so slow. As a comeback episode two Naruto or arc 
to Naruto, I did, when I rewatched this, I did find it hella slow. I think I'm gonna put it in B tier. It's definitely not A tier. It could, I think it was better than the search for Tsunade, I think. I'm gonna put it in B tier because we get to see a lot of Gara a little bit. And then, oh, and Granny Chio's death, actually. I totally forgot about that. I actually teared up during that. I'm putting that in B tier. Fuck you, search for Tsunade. Although you do have nice breath. The bridge uh, mission, I don't, I can't read that. Tenichi, I forget the fucking names. I don't know the arc names. Leave me alone. That's when we end up bringing back Sasuke there. And with the introduction of Sai, I remember Sai used to piss me off so much at the beginning. I think that's a B tier. Bringing back Sasuke, everything like that there. We got to see how you... And then we got to see Ninetales kind of go off there. Would I put this over... Would I put this over Kazakage Rescue Mission? I think the problem with that one is just pissed me off with, um, Sai. Sai really just pissed me off during that whole time. Besides when he let Sakura fall. I feel like there's more buildup within this arc for later arcs than within the Kazakage uh kage mission i'm gonna try avoiding the same mistake i did with one piece because when i kept wa when i watched back after i like did and i was editing i really felt like i should have brought thriller bark up and i don't want to have that same regret as i did uh with those and i felt like someone was like all over the place so i want to make sure i get this right because i felt like thriller bark i should have touched a little bit more and if i can just place everyone everything properly at the start that'd be nice akatsuki suppression mission i personally think that is actually better than uh, Konoha Crush. I'm just gonna say that. I feel like that's gonna be a little bit biased because I am a Shikamaru fan. I I'm gonna put that above Konoha Crush. It's not S here, but everything leading to it. Like you have, um, fuck. What's his name? Akaza? No, it's not Akaza. Why am I thinking Akaza? Fuck off. Sarutobi, I know his last name. Asuma. Fucking Asuma. I knew it was around those lines, but Akaza. Fuck you, Demon Slayer. Asuma's, like, death was very, very huge within everything. And again, there was also a training arc where we see Naruto develop the w wind Rasengan. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put that above it because we also see little Shikamaru action, like his 100 IQ, like over 100 IQ type shit. It's actually over 200, I think. I forget what Asuma says, but I'm gonna put that above Code Hawk Crush. I really feel like a like Akatsuki suppression mission really brought that. Hey, we are going to be killing off characters. Now we have the Itachi pursuit mission. That is when Sasuke is having to find him and they find data it's not the official sasuke fight hold on because this image is throwing me off because if it is no one can deny the cold one of the coldest moments in anime with fucking itachi's that shit and the shoran's like i can't speak um japanese but the how much can you see with the shrine gun that has that can't be it right because then there's the battle here between brothers 126 what what episode what does 126 end off this is right this is right before they fight so it's not they haven't done that it's just they end with um itachi giving naruto the uh, uh the crow for Sasuke. I'm gonna put that because i know that now i'm putting that in beater it's not as exciting as the bridge one i will say that i i feel like it contributes a lot building up because we kind of get to find salt so i'm gonna put that bel below the bridge tell me in the comments if you guys really enjoyed the data versus sasuke fight i don't know if i did i'm gonna put that beneath the bridge one jiraiya tales of jiraiya the ga gallant that's gotta be s tier it's uh is that gonna be above training exams there's so much emotion into this one the, like, these next two are the whole pain saga is just pain it literally is just pain do i put that above tuning exams i don't want to put that above tuning exams because i cried during that i cried during the battle one. Oh, golly me but the Jir you can't ignore jiraiya's death that's the only thing, it's, it's Jiraiya's death. Like these next two is Jiraiya's death and Itachi's death. They did, they impact the future arcs and everything like that pretty well afterwards. Ah, uh, fuck it. We're putting it underneath tuning exams. Ah, uh, no, but that impacts so much. Why are these, why, what are these two arcs doing? What are these two doing that's fucking up me and Pierre? It's because I got emotional damage watching those two, isn't it? It's why. I'm going to put Tales of Jiraiya above chin exams and then 
Sasuke versus Itachi above Tales of Jiraiya. Now, the reason why I'm putting them above Trini exams is because we don't waste time with Sakura and Ino's little stupid fight shit. Uh, some people might hate me for that. I'm just gonna continue on. Just let that burn in. Uh, Pain Assault arc. That one's also very good. I killed off Kakashi. Also kind of was sad. People finally really accepted Naruto as well during that. Derek Shippuden, he wasn't feared at all. Uh, they just didn't really emphasize a little bit on it. I will put that behind the Jiraiya one. Yes, I'm gonna put that behind the Jiraiya one. The thing is, the Pain arc, I think, is definitely one of the... I think it's the best arc. Well, Saga. Sorry, the Pain Saga. I think the Pain Saga was the best Saga throughout all of Naruto. So it, these three are just up there because it, they just go back to back. You go from Jiraiya's death to Itachi's death, the Kakashi's death and all that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. Five Kage Summit, uh, Shippuden. We see that Sasuke, Naruto, bridge thing, blah, blah. Sasuke gets his shit with Donzo. But put that A tier above Akatsuki, uh, Akatsuki's submission, suppression, submission, suppression uh, mission. <laughs> yeah, I think that's respectful. Kazakage 7 arc, top of A tier. Fourth, Shinobi World War Countdown. That took a long time. There's also a lot of filler within this one. I'd just like to say that. We do get a big moment with Naruto and uh, Kurenai. I feel like I just butchered Kur her name. It's Kurenai, right? Kushina! Kushina! Who's Kurenai? Kurenai's the fucking dumb bitch that used uh, Genjutsu against Itachi, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck! Wait, Search for Tsunade has the fucking Itachi and Kisame reveal now that I remember that shit. Fuck! Dude, now I gotta move that up. Okay, that's fucking B tier now. No, that's B tier. Because it shows... Oh my god, why? Why do you have to add, like, one of the most badass situations with one of the most shitty situations? Fuck me, bro. Okay, I'm just putting that at the top of beer. That can go in A tier if you guys want, but I'm not. Just because the Tsunade shit pissed me off. We're putting that at A. Fuck you, Kurenai. Four Shinobi World War countdown. Uh, it's just ha these moments. The thing is with Naruto compared to One Piece is Naruto actually has very sad moments within a bunch of these arcs compared to One Piece. Like One Piece, we get, yes, Ace's death. And then Dress Rosa with Law. And like Robin, like, like they, they go through the backstory of them, which is sad, but like the actual at that moment is not as sad and all that there. Uh, besides really Ace's situation. Oh, I want to put that in the B tier area. I'm going to put that towards, I'm going to put that above Itachi's pursuit mission. Yes. I think what says it is also shorter as well. Yeah, we're gonna put that there because it was also annoying me how like Sasuke would find Itachi and then Itachi would then turn into the crows. We're gonna put it there. We're gonna put it there. Yell at me later. Uh, first Shinobi World War Con for me. Okay, we then get into the A tier of that. We see. Oh wait, hold up. That's like in the beginning. So Naruto just uh, gets out. He finally gets the Nine Tails stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's either A or S tier. Naruto has a lot of S tiers, dude. What the fuck? I want to put that in A tier. I want to put that in A tier. Can I put that in A tier? No. When when does Madara show up? Okay, that helps me. This is going in A tier. Final Shinobi, like the climax of it, will go into S tier. Yeah, that goes into S tier. I'm going to put that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's going to the top of that list. That's going to sound weird for some people, I feel like. But you have to remember, you get the full circle with Sasuke and Itachi. Sasuke then goes talk to the Hokage, everything like that there. Madara is clapping the five Kage. Obito is going against Guy, Naruto, and Kakashi. That's going at the top of S tier. I don't give a shit. I think that's one of the best well-rounded arcs there, as as many episodes as they were. These ones are up there because they're also very little episode and does give you emotional damage that you just remember it. Uh, Birth of the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, that will also go in S tier, but where in S tier? This is throwing me off so much because it just gave me emotional damage that I can't ignore it. Fuck off. Why can't- Can I just combine the pain arc? Oh, this is so hard. We get to see the Kage in action during that. Naruto's sad scene with everyone. And then, like, the fall- It's the transformation of Sasuke kind of working with everyone. 
Fuck, dude, this is so hard. I think for emotional damage sake, we are gonna switch S tier. We'll do that later. I'm just gonna place this in S tier, just randomly right now. I'm gonna fix S tier at the end, I'm sorry. We're just gonna place that there. I, no, we're gonna place that there. I, there, fine. We'll just place that there. That is just gonna be so fucking hard. Kage is a ca hmm. Putting that in B tier, that's gonna go above, uh, search for Tsunade. Skasuke, Shippu, uh, Book of the Sunrise. We're gonna put that in C tier. I'm going fast paced now. No, but it was decent. It was okay. Ah, why, why, why? Naruto, you're doing, this is harder than the fucking One Piece one. The One Piece one, I at least had a good idea and it was just fucking Thriller Bar throwing me off. No, it's fucking Naruto that's throw. Every single arc of Naruto throws me off. Fuck it, putting that in B tier. I think we're only, we're gonna get our C and D tier once fucking Boruto comes into play. Uh, down there. I have a sweet spot for Shikamaru. That's going above that. We're gonna leave that there. The last, we finally get Hinata and Naruto to kind of finally get together. Fuck, dude. This one's so much harder than the One Piece one. It doesn't really contribute as much. Like, these, if you look at these, these all really contributed very well within the story. These ones kind of did, not too much though. Like, of course that's the ending, but like... Wait! No, you fucking assholes! You put the fucking Kaguya in Oh my god, that has the Naruto and Sasuke final fight! Why? Oh, I gotta bring that up to S here, don't I? You motherfuckers, why can't you separate that into a different fucking arc? <sighs> This is the problem because One Piece, they have like arcs where it's like this and that. With this, there's so like so much shit that just combined. Oh, oh my God. I gotta put that in S here for right now. Fuck you, Naruto. This is the hardest shit I've ever done. Once Boruto comes around, easy fucking sales. The last. Cool. I'm gonna put you in fucking B tier. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna put that above. It, it was a movie technically, so of course the pacing's gonna be bad. I'm putting you here. I'm putting you there. Konoha hitting the perfect day of the wedding. I'm gonna put you... You you made me cry a little bit because we saw Naruto grow up. We're, we're going there. Yeah, you go down there. You go down there. You go down there. You're okay. You go down there. You go down there. You okay just because I get a flashback. Fuck you. This was... Fuck that. That was so pointless. You're okay. I like this one. We got Jugo back. Nah, you still suck. That shit. That shit. That's bad. That's okay. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I got these six. This one goes up here. That one goes here. We got Jiraiya. That one's shit. That one's. Sh Where'd that go? That one's. Sh yeah, shit. That was okay. I like seeing Aoi. He also comes back, talks to Shikamaru and Ino, since he was the only one that didn't die between, like, that whole. If you guys don't know who Aoi is, Aoi. Ao sorry, Aoi. Aoi's the guy that um, was doing the water inside during the war. The fourth great ninja war. And like the Jinchuri, uh, Ten Tails end up blowing up the main base. I do like what he contributes there. I'm actually gonna put that in B tier just because he does do a lot of character development for Boruto a little bit there. I, I'm, I'm being a little mean to Boruto, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of just went through it. I'm gonna place that there. Graduation, that's okay. These are okay. Um, this is where like. That's S tier. Again, I'm gonna, f I'm just placing that in S tier so I can just do that later. <laughs> that was okay. We got secondhand Kakashi. Never watched you, never watched you, never watched you, never watched you, never watched you. These three, these four, I have, I like didn't catch up after uh, training re-examination there. All right, that is it with that fucking, like setting that up. Boruto was at least fast. Now it's time to figure out the fuck am I doing here. I think that's top of there. I think I have to put this here. Ignoring that aside, tuning exam. I think the I have to bring Jiraiya and them down and the Jiraiya and Itachi down just because they weren't as long. So that it was more action based. It wasn't really storytelling based or but it sets up so well for the future arcs. Oh my god. Fuck off. Pain of Soul will stick there. One of the coldest entries from Naruto as well. I feel like I have to bring this up. I have to bring up these two because of Naruto and Sasuke's fight. I will put that there. Leave that down there. This will be down there. This one. S tier is so hard. 
I've never had it where S tier so I've never had it where it's been this hard. S tier, you go, but you didn't really contribute as much to the cause. Like these two technically should be combined, but they're not. This is just a rerun of fucking this, like that. So that has to be the bottom S tier. It was what it was a very good arc though. Put that. I'll put this because this moment, like Barry on Naruto, is very high. We're gonna put Barry on Naruto above Sasuke's recovery. Kara, Kara Clash put above there. Sasuke's recovery stays there. Okay. S tier is just so hard. We're gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna lie. Do what you want with that. If you do a tier list and you figure out what to do there, congratulations. You can't ignore how much the Force Shinobi War climax was with this full cycle of Itachi and Sasuke, and then you bring in the Hokage, then the Madara versus Kage Kaguya fight. And then also, it also that includes Madara's appearance, by the way. That includes Madara's appearance when he goes against all fucking everyone within the fucking desert there. I'm actually gonna bring this uh, training exams above. That's definitely gonna be above this, but this fucking Sasuke versus Naruto fights part of that. Fuck off. We're, we're gonna go that, we're gonna go that, we're gonna go here. Okay, S tier. I think that's good. That's good. All right, all right. That's fine there. That's fine there. That is fine there. Actually, no. That's fine there. I prefer this over that. That's. Okay. Kaze Kai. Ooh. Because I did I really care about Donzo? I didn't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine there, I think. This is unfair. This is unfair. I'm just saying. I'm bringing you down, actually. Your pacing was slow. Graduation guys above that. That there. That there. That there. Not even gonna touch that. Okay, that is it for today's video, guys. I That really was difficult. I'm not gonna lie. If we're trying to figure out if One Piece and Naruto are... Which one's better? Personally, I'm gonna go One Piece. Naruto is a close second, but I think Naruto as a whole is much better as we can see with the fucking S tier lineup and like all that and I actually had a hard time if we took away Boruto Okay, we're chilling. I, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. I think One Piece and Naruto are very hard. But yeah, that is it for today, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you guys had much of a brain aneurysm as I did, I'm sorry. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.